Right, Wayne, uh, thank you for joining us again on Osset United TV. Um, a bit of a frustrating afternoon, really, as far as the um, scoreline goes, but performance-wise, a lot of positives, a lot, to, uh, a lot yeah. to, to praise, really. Yeah, I, I would think so. Um, certainly first half, I thought we were um, easily the better team. Some of the stuff that we played, some of the um, some of the football that we played is, is exactly how we want to go about things. So really, really pleased with that. Um, you know, we... We, we, we're knocking on the door. We, we're the, the last two performances, although the results have not gone, have um, you know shows us to well, shows me that we're we're getting there. We're on the right tracks, and you know I'm not I'm, I'm not even going to mention you know players not available, but reinforcements are on the way. You know we want to get players in. Obviously we brought Harry Gaging into the to, to the team, um, and I'll, well it's been fantastic and deservedly one man at match in my opinion. Um, you know, so lots and lots of positives to take out of that. Um, you know, I, listen. When we give everything that we can, uh, when we play the way that we want to play, and when we work as hard as we've worked, I can live with that. Um, you know, the re when you come in, you see me downbeat and stuff like that. And when we're not done as jobs properly, that that's they're the ones that um, you know they're the ones that sting. But I, I can't knock the boys um, today. Yeah, all right. We can do certain things better still. Uh, we still need to create more chances. I get, I get that. Um, we need to get some strikers in the place, and, and we're working hard on that. Um, you know, and um, you're right, Craig. Frustrating because you know the first half dominance, and it was first half dominance. So I, you know, I, I wouldn't know what the stats are, but we must have had 60, 65, 70 percent of possession. Um, got to be a little bit more ruthless and create a few more chances from that dominance. But um, you know, all, all in all, really disappointed to lose. You know, I, I think Colin took advantage of when the game started to get a little bit scrappy and a bit fragmented, um, and the game started to get a little bit stretched. Inevitably, as it does, you know, after 65, 70 minutes, and um, they start to cause us more problems. Second half, were more, more even, more of an arm wrestle. Um, you know, we've got a. For their goal, we've got to we've got to clear our lines a little bit better, and we've got to be better positionally than we were. We had too much time on the edge of the box. It's a decent strike, and and with a greasy surface, I'm not, I, you know, I don't think we can look at the keeper in any way for that, you know. So, um, I, yeah, all in all, frustrating, but you know, real positives to take out of that today. Yeah, you've obviously said you don't want to mention injuries. Fine, fair enough. We've got a lot of games coming up in a very short period of time. Tuesday, Saturday, every week for the next few weeks. How close are you to getting new recruits in uh, to fill the injury losses and uh, to cover various areas of the pitch? Um, yeah, it's a process. Um, you know, seven-day approach just slows everything down. Um, no club will want to wave seven days at this point in time. Um, you know, so we're working hard. We, you know, the phone's been. Um, the phone's been ringing and I've been ringing constantly since Tuesday night, since we last spoke. Obviously, we managed to get Harry in before today, which which is great. It's a start. Um, the process continues. You know, we need we need reinforcements in the right areas. We need one, if not two, strikers into the place. Uh, we certainly need a centre half into the place. Um, and all you can do is just keep knocking on doors and and, um, and asking the questions and putting the seven-day approaches in. And when those Seven day approaches have elapsed, speaking to them, trying to sell the football club, fantastic football club, fantastic fans, great facilities, um, and hope that people want to come and get a, uh, get on board with that and, and, uh, and join the party. But um, yeah, so as much as we were downbeat Tuesday, I think today, you know, of course we're flat, disappointed, um, and you know, it's another, it's another defeat. But um, I've seen I've seen enough positives to, to, to know that um, we're not a million miles away from turning the corner. It's a long season, and um, I don't think there's any need for any of us to panic. Let's stay level-headed. Let's let's keep everybody's spirits up. Uh, let's you know players, uh, fans alike, um, you know keep our own spirits up. You know we've been around long enough to know that these type of runs in football can happen you, you can't legislate for the, the amount of issues that, we, that we've had as a squad but um no listen uh, you know let's let's be positive um we, we for me we, we're close to that um we're close to that first win once we get that first win i'm confident that we'll kick on and reinforcements and, and extra bodies into the into the squad will help us do that brilliant words as ever wayne thanks a lot and we go again tuesday thanks great thank you cheers mate
Thanks, guys.